Hello everyone. This post is going to be about my Greek passport and citizenship. I was born in Greece on April 13th. My father, however, was unhappy that he had a girl. He wanted a boy. He did not record my birth until June 26th, which wasn't unusual because lots of babies died um, when they were first born, so they would wait a while before they registered the birth. But he had to get on a donkey and he had to ride down from the village I was born to the city where they registered births, uh, city, town. And uh, it took him about two and a half hours to get there. He got drunk on the way down. So when he gets down there and he says, I'm here to register my daughter's birth. And they said, okay, what's her name? He gives them the wrong name. Okay. He, he, instead of saying like, uh, Francis, he says, Francie. And apparently in Greece, that's a big deal because there's a lot of Francis's or Francis. So gives me the wrong name. Uh, and then they said, okay, when was she born? And he was like, uh, Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. And they're going to look. We have to put something down. He goes, okay, well, why don't we put down today? June 26th. So that's what they did. <laughs> Off we go. My birthday was always celebrated April 13th. No one ever told me anything about June 26th, ever. Off we go and come to Canada. They register me in school. They register me under the name of Effie. Forget the Francis or Francine. It's just Effie. Okay, fine. I've always been called Effie. I didn't know any difference. I get my um, Greek, my Canadian citizenship when I'm nine and a half. That's nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's under April thirteenth, as it should be. I get my Canadian passport. This is the most recent one. Okay, no worries. Well, what is the name? I think it's Francis or, or what is it? Oh, we had to change it. So it became Francis Effie and then my last name. Um, many years later, I became an American citizen and this is my American passport. And again, my birthday and name were registered as Francis Effie Coldings, but I always go by Effie. I've been trying to get my Greek passport for about 20 years. They refused to give it to me. They're like, who are you? And I'm like, uh, I was born April 13th in this village and that blah, 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 blah. And they're like, no, we don't have record of anybody being born on that day. And I'm like, but my father registered me. The whole family's registered. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. They're like, no, honey, you were born on June 26th. I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? Um, so I hire a lawyer. This is about 20 years ago when I was in the States and I, um, he was an angel, an angel and a half. He says, oh boy, you got big problems, girl. <laughs> and sure enough, it was big problems. It took an awful long time to get it straightened out. My father was still alive at that time and he wasn't incapacitated like he was in his last, uh, seven years while he was, uh, on his deathbed. And I had asked him, I said, Dad, you can clear this up very easily. Why don't you clear this up and help me get my citizenship and my, my passport? And he's like, oh, you have citizenship. Anybody that's born in Greece has citizenship. You just have to have it under the name and the birthday that is on the record. I'm like, Dad, I wasn't born that day. Why don't you help me? Ha, 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 ha. It's funny. You can deal with it. I'm not dealing with it. Not too bad for you. I'm like, Dad, that's not nice. He's like, too bad, it's your problem. I'm like, wow, what a nice man you are. Any howdy. I'm extremely proud that the lawyer I hired 20 years ago has stuck with me. And for 20 years, we've been going back and forth with the Greek government, finally established that my birthday is not June 26th, it is April 13th, by providing witnesses for, that were at my birthdays when I was young and that all my other, you know, my sister, my brother, everybody knows I was born April 13th. The record is wrong. Finally, they got that straightened out. However, this passport is not under the name of Francis Effie Colbeans. 
this passport is under like the Francini or France whatever, the name that's not really mine. <laughs> so the next battle will be to get the name straightened out. But out of all the passports, this is the hardest one that I had to get, even though I was born in this country. Why? Because my dad was not happy that he had a girl. He wanted a boy. He already had a boy, but you know. So he got drunk riding the donkey down to the, to the town to register me. And he was so pissed drunk he couldn't remember when I was born. And the idiot who worked in that office agreed to list that day as my birthday. So today is June 24th, 2022. In two days, I'm gonna celebrate my not birthday. <laughs> so starting now, since I finally have my birthday straightened out on my passport, I'm gonna start celebrating my not birthday. So I'm gonna get two birthdays. One, April 13th, which is my birthday, and one, June 22nd, uh, excuse me, 26th, which is the one that my father burdened me with. People, don't do things like that to your kids. Don't name them God. Don't name them, you know, stupid things. And don't give them a wrong birthday. It's absolutely a burden that no one needs to go through. Normally, we say that the American passport is the hardest to get, and it was not easy. It took me over, I guess, seven, eight years. <laughs> but compared to the Greek passport, a piece of cake, people. And the easiest one to get is Canadian. <laughs> it's absolutely the easiest. Yeah, you have to wait and you've got to, you know, pass a little test. And I had to swear in front of the judge that I was going to be a good Canadian when I grew up, which I think means being anti-American, but that's a different thing. Uh, but there's the story of my Greek passport and citizenship. That's it for now. Take care. Learn from my father's lessons and <laughs> wrongs. Bye guys.